beautiful people it's here above if this is your first time of watching my video you're welcome to my channel please do subscribe like this video and always come back for more and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for stopping by yeah today i'm going to be talking about the great wall of Bini. i'm sure most of us have heard of the great wall of china yes also in nigeria africa we do have the great wall of Bini. or let me say we used to have the great wall of Bini. We used to have the great wall of Bini. And don't worry, I'm going to let you guys know everything you need to know about this wall, how big it is, how long it is, what led to it being we used to have, why we don't have it again. I'm going to let you guys know. The Great Wall of Bini was the largest and oldest wall in Africa, and it is one of the oldest and well-developed cities in west africa and back then i'm sure most of us were thinking why am i using worse that's because we don't have this wall again we only have the remains of this wall and they can still be found within the southern region of the Bini city and yeah if you don't know the Bini city Bini can be situated in nigeria and it is the capital of a dual state these walls are four times bigger than the Great Wall of China. Yes, I mean it. It is 16,000 kilometers in length, both interior and exterior, and it occupied the landmass of 65,000 kilometers square. Yeah, which is 37% of the city. Yes, yeah, so this land occupied 37% of the Bini city as a thing. Archaeologist says it took about 150 million hours of digging to build this wall. Yes, 150 million hours. Yeah. So over 600 years of digging this wall. Okay, the wall they begin to dig this wall from 680 to 700 AD, but it was destroyed in 1897 by the British. What led to the destruction of this wall is known as the punitive expedition. I understand that most of us probably have never heard of this or probably have never actually thought what really led to the destruction of the wall of Bini. It's actually a very detailed history. So I'm going to be talking about it in my next video. But let me know if you want, if you let me know in the section. <laughs> Yes, all I have to say to that one. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to have like a part one or part two, or I'll just give you in just one video. But if you guys are not really commenting, I'm just going to do the way I feel. I'm sorry. Less than 500 years after completion, it was destroyed. Yeah. And this destruction led to a whole lot of things. It led to the destruction of the most beautiful and cultural part of the Bini history and the culture. It led to the destruction of people's life, eradication of a lot of bloodlines, and you know, more than we can actually think of. And I really want to bring out two things from this, from the things that attached to the destruction of this war and what led to the existence of the world. Number one is people's like people's aim to build this wall. I understand and I believe that the pe people then in Bini City and the of Bini Kingdom they were actually determined to build this wall and to bring something, something more like an heritage to them, which I feel like we don't have now most of us are like okay so far it's not of, it doesn't really concern me then it's none of my business if the government if the leaders if they actually want to bring this world back to life i think it's something we can do we have the great wall of china it's been protected people go there and do you know the millions they make in a year for people just coming to see the great wall of china i feel like if we are determined to bring back this wall of Bini, it's something the government and the leaders can do if only the people of Bini would have that determination and the zeal the love of one's nation if they have 
that thing, I believe they can bring back the oil of Bini. And yes, definitely, hopefully one day we'll go to the city of Bini and we'll see for ourselves. Because the remains of this was are still there. We can find it around the southern part of the city of Bini. Another thing is the existence of this wall actually counter the belief of Africa not being civilized then because imagine people spending approximately over 150 million as approximately 600 years to build a wall and yet yeah, one of the things the materials they used in building this wall is ramparts and moths I can't just stop thinking of the determination, the hard work that these people really put into it and for it to be destroyed just for some selfish reasons is just actually sad. And yeah, like I said before, I'm going to be talking about it. So that's it for today's video. I'm just giving a short information about the world of women, the size and letting you guys know that yeah, we in Nigeria we also have a great world. We used to have a ritual which is called the world being and you know you never can tell we definitely can have it back in your time and also i believe this channel is going to grow to the extent that whatsoever thing we talk about on this channel is going to have effect and some things are just going to be coming back to life so positive things all right so that's it for this video please subscribe like this video and Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at it's underscore with the apple. I'll see you in my next video. And yeah, please stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned. And if you've not watched my last video, please do watch my last video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.